Good morning, this is Pastor Ezekiel Johnson of Great Commission Pentecostal Church with another word of encouragement. And today I want to talk to you about a subject that every human being, I guess in dealing with other human beings, has to reckon with at some point or another in their life. Uh, many times more often uh, than we'd like to have to think about, but the subject of forgiveness is crucial to having healthy relationships. As a matter of fact, the relationship that's most important for any of us is our relationship with God. And that relationship is hinged upon our ability to share what he shared with us. Because one of the most remarkable things that God does, being that he is perfect and he is the arbiter of what is right and what's wrong, he forgives us. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but yet and still God forgives us. And because he forgives us, he expects us to forgive others. Now, if you just take this subject of forgiveness and you, you look at this, there are things in life that you may put in a category that you say it's impossible for me to forgive that because that was just so bad. But God looks at us and he extends his mercy. The Bible says that his mercy endures forever. And because his mercy endures forever, that means any sin that we commit, he's willing. The Bible says he's faithful and just. Uh, he will forgive but what God expects of us to get or to receive his forgiveness and have it lasting. Because, you know, God makes that forgiveness that he gives us contingent upon our willingness to forgive others. There's an example in the word of God that's uh, spoken about where Jesus gives an example of a man that owed a king a lots of money, maybe $10 million. And uh, he couldn't afford to pay. And the king says, well, we're going to deliver you to the tormentors until you pay. And the man begged and pleaded and all this. And the king had mercy and said, I'm going to forgive all your debt. So he forgives the guy's debt. And the guy leaves from the king and goes out and sees another person that owes him I mean, just a fraction, a tiny fraction of that amount of money. And he gets that person by the throat and says, pay me my money. And the guy's begging and pleading with him just as he just finished begging and pleading with the king for a much, much larger sum that he owed. But yet and still, he wouldn't have mercy on this other guy. Somebody saw it, went back and told the king, and the king said, haul him in here now. And so when he came to the king, the king says, didn't I forgive you? He says, deliver this man to the tormentors until he pay every single penny. And so, in other words, that forgiveness that he was given, that mercy that was extended to him, was revoked because of his unwillingness to forgive. This is something that we can't allow to be lost on us. With all of our, you know, uh, theological positions and and philosophizing about the Word of God or thinking we know who God is and how He works. This is one point about God that we better never, ever, ever forget. He makes it very clear in His Word that if you don't forgive, you will not be forgiven. And the thing that's going to keep anybody out of heaven is going to be sin, unforgiven sin, unpaid for sin. He paid the price, but at the same time, unless we're willing to extend that same forgiveness to others then we're going to be in a place where we're going to have to answer to God to pay a price that we have no ability to pay. I challenge you today to forgive. There are people that when life was just going on normally and things were under control and you, know, you didn't have to deal with these thoughts or th thinking about these people, but sometimes grudges build up over time and God wants you to take this time and make some things right. There are some people perhaps you need to call up. There are some people perhaps that 
you haven't spoken to in a long time, but that, that vendetta is there between the two of you. God is telling you, and he has been telling you, because I know how this works. God's been talking to you. I'm not the first person. I'm just another voice that God is using to tell you it's time to make it right. It's time to forgive. It's time to say, hey, I'm done with this. God's forgiven me. I'm going to extend the mercy that God's extended to me to this other person. I'm going to make this right. This is a great time while we're thinking about so many other things and while fear and all these other things and we're calling out to God. You know, the Bible says that our prayers are hindered. There are certain things that hinder our prayers. He says, if your brother has ought or has a problem with you, you know about it. Before you come to pray and talk to God, he says, make it right with your brother. God is so, so into us having our human relationships right, making sure that we're, 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 we're in a, a, um, a relationship with people and a status in that relationship with people that everything is, is, is smoothed out. There's no uh, rifts that we allow to just go on and become grudges and bitterness because God doesn't want you or I to trip somebody else up by the way that we've treated them. We have to make it right. I implore you today, make it right. And then for those that have done wrong to you, let it go. Let it go. Have a great day. Be blessed.